everyone today we are going to learn about tonometry in tonometry we are going to learn about indentation method and in this method we all know that it is devised in 1905 and it is very simple reliable and low effect low price effective and as well as it is very accurate it gives very accurate reading for our examination so we are going to learn about indentation method in today's video which have uh, the plunger and a foot plate and a needle and uh, with that needle it will go through the scale reading to examine the result of eye pressure thank you so much for viewing my previous videos please watch till last to understand very deeply about indentation tonometry today we are going to learn about tonometry it's an instrument which is used to measure the iop of an eye now the question arises that what is iop so iop is a intra ocular pressure intraocular pressure is the eye pressure which is in our eye if it get increased or if it get decreased it will cause certain pathological diseases so we need to understand that how we can check the IOP of an eye it is checked by two kind of instruments in tonometry the first one is indentation method indentation method the second one is applanation method today we are generally one uh, getting to know about indentation method indentation method is devised in 1905 okay through this we understand that it is a method of indenting something so we indent this foot plate on the cornea okay to check the pressure if it get indent uh, this get indent more in soft eye if the pressure is low and means it if the pressure is normal then it will indent more and if the pressure is high if it is in the hard eye okay hope you all understand about thing that about the indentation method now understanding about short tonometer it is done by short tonometer this is a short tonometer you are seeing here it look like this the first thing we need to understand that what is the supporting structure in the short tonometer the supporting structure is a holder you can say this as a barrel also uh, you can say this as a holder which is handling the short tonometer and then this holder is having a barrel barrel means the barrel is having more uh, parts of the instrument in the short tonometer then it, he uh, the short tonometer is having foot plate also that foot plate is being indented on the cornea and this holder is positioned vertically on the cornea we need to learn this that we had to put the holder in the vertical position on the cornea okay then it is having a plunger also this plunger is being moved with the indenting uh, after the indenting of foot plate this plunger will move and that plunger will move the lever arm and this lever arm moves the needle here or there this side or this side depending on the hard eye or soft eye okay then we can uh, we knew that 
the foot plate have some weight so this foot plate is having 5.5 gram weight generally and if we want to increase the weight and there is no reading after 5.5 gram then we will increase the weight by 7.5 gram or 10 gram hopefully you all understand about this thing this is a test block test block is me uh, test block means we are uh, having an eye to be examined here and this foot plate rest on the cornea and that makes the plunger move with the with moving the liver arm and liver arm moves the needle to judge the pressure okay and to examine the pressure hope you all understand about indentation method of tonometry by short tonometer so the steps of tonometry are the first step is to anesthetize the eye with paracaine and waiting after the insertion of drop of paracaine for 2 minutes resting the foot plate on cornea is the third step then we have to note the readings appearing on the scale after uh, noting the readings we have to drop a uh, drop a antibiotic drop in the testing on the tested eye and make sure that there is no infection in the eye after the examination